everybody, I'm Dominic from AskMeDIY.com. It's about 6.30 in the morning and we had a really hot day yesterday and this whole house is like baking like an oven. I think the thermostat on the wall says 86 degrees, 6.30 in the morning. That's like crazy, normal I couldn't sleep. But I opened the door here and it's, you just feel the cool air, so much cooler outside. I mean, I'm just sweating here just telling you about it. What we want to do and this whole video is about how to install a whole house fan. And what that is, it's a big fan that's going to go up in the ceiling of the attic, but you know, the ceiling of your hallway or whatever, we'll get to that. And that's going to suck all the hot air in the house right out into the attic and then back out of the attic. Um, like if you have a basement, all that cool air and the cool air here, you know, you open the doors, windows, and then just use all this cool air. It's a lot cheaper to run one of those then turning this, the central air on, which would take, you know, X amount of time to cool the house with a whole house fan. I mean, literally in minutes, it can cool the whole house. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you what we got. All right, well, I determined where I want to put this. Now, I didn't want to put the, you know, the fan obviously is going to be up in the attic, but we're going to have this big white grill that's going to go up in the ceiling with big louvers on it. Which, you know, looks okay, but we just don't want it to be seen that much. So, really determine where you can put it in your attic. Uh, like we have attic stairs and stuff, which in this case we don't, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, one thing that's really important, these fans are normally big. And the one that we got for this house is like, the biggest one I could really get. Um, well, they're bigger than our, our ceiling joists that are running. So, we're going to have to cut one of them out of the way. Again, it's not a big deal because it's acting as a ceiling joist in this case, which we're going to be cutting this part of the sheetrock out. Okay, so it's not a big deal, but we'll show you how to do that. Um, in this case, we have roof trusses on this house, so it's a two by four running across. And you know, this is basically where I, I want this fan to be. Uh, and I could actually end up cutting more than one out, which again is fine. Let me take you outside where we have the fan ready to go. Let me show you exactly what it's like and how big this puppy is. All right, check this big puppy out, huh? This is what we're gonna cut a hole up in our ceiling to install. This is a big, gigantic fan. This particular one is belt driven. You can see the bell hanging here. Uh, it's basically, this is a 6,000 CFM fan, which means the, the higher that number is, the higher the, the uh, amount of airflow. And it's a pretty big house, so we want a, a big fan. The belt driven one, well, that really means it's better and it's quieter, right? That's a definite plus. I mean, something to think about. This fan here was over 300 bucks. You can get smaller ones that will do the job for maybe even half that price. So, you know, whatever which one works for you, not everybody can fit such a big fan in the house. But everybody can stand that be a little bit cooler in these hot summer days, okay? Now, this is a whole house fan, not an attic fan. Attic fans are completely different. An attic fan is gonna use to cool the, the attic itself, is get, you know, that hot air out. Like if you're storing a lot of stuff, even like candles in your attic that are gonna melt like, you know, flat as you know can be very different now if you look up here you see we have vents up in the uh the soffit here okay well what's happening naturally you have a ridge vent on top of the house where the cool air would enter here and as you know it heats up it's going to come out it's going to come out the top of that ridge vent you know see if you can get a shot of what a ridge vent looks like uh, come back here. Okay, stop for a second. If you look on top of that roof, that's a, a ridge vent. Now, you know, because it's not completely flat. I mean, I don't know how easy you can really tell on the video, but that's where the hot air is going to escape. It's called a ridge vent. All right, so that's where it's going to come out. Okay. All right. Well, here's what happened. We installed the whole fan. I want to show you how that was done, but that part of the video got corrupt. So I'm going to pretty much explain to you what we did. We had we cut the hole and we, we cut a uh, ceiling joist out and we put the fan back you know, up in there. It's real simple to do, but the electric, what we did 
I went upstairs and, and again, it's like 100 degrees outside, so there's no way I can go up in the attic and show you. But we grabbed power up there, I brought it down through the wall to a, a, a switch box that we put in here, a remodeling box, and another wire out from this switch. And now this is the switch that came with the fan, so it is a little specialized. And we brought that wire up to the, fit, the fan, which is a three wire, which means it has two hot legs. And what, what, what it's using is a high and a low. Again, so I'm gonna turn this fan on and these louvers here are gonna get sucked right off. And, and what's gonna happen is drawing the, the cooler air outside, which is really not that cool right now. Um, it's gonna suck all that cool air inside, right back out into the attic. And then the attic's gonna fill up with that air as a positive pressure. It's gonna push that out out of the attic, out to, to the surface. So I check this out and I turn this on. And right there I can feel the breeze like mad. So it's getting all this air right now and it's blowing it in. But unfortunately, uh, I don't think I have any windows open. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna open up a uh, sliding door where it has a big curtain hanging down. And you're gonna see that. Watch that curtain go from standing still to moving out pretty, pretty damn good. All right, so let's go downstairs and I'll show you that. All right, now see, this is where we have our fan off and the door's wide open. And I'm gonna yell upstairs to have my cameraman turn the fan on and watch how that's gonna move. All right, Jim, turn that fan on high. All right, here, now look at that. Is that something? So all that cool air from the outside is now being sucked right through the house, taking all the hot air in the house back out and using that air. It's really, really good. All right, turn it off. All right, well, that's how you install a whole house fan. And that's not much installed, but the, really the fundamentals about how it really works. Takes that cool air from outside, brings it right through. So all that hot air in here, takes it right out, up into the attic. Really cool. It's only like 300 something dollars for that fan, and that's a really big one. But remember, it's not an attic fan. The attic fan's totally different. That's to cool the attic off. This is a whole house fan, okay? So big difference, and I'll tell you, over well, here we got a window air condition working and, and that's great when it's like where it is now 100 degrees outside, it's really hot, um, so the air conditioning work good. But later on, no, turn that off and then once it cools down outside quite a bit, that's when you turn that fan on and suck all this hot air right up and out. So anyway, I hope you learned how to do that and I'm Dominic from SBDIY.com. Thanks for watching.